Welcome to What's New in Golan 2023.1. The big hitters this time round are the new Vulnerability Checker, GRPC Navigation, Compare with Cluster, updates to the new UI, and a myriad of improvements, quality of life changes, performance enhancements, bug fixes, and more. Let's get going! Entering the world of security, Goland now has a vulnerability checker that highlights packages with known vulnerabilities inside your go.mod file. You can update them directly to more secure versions and the checks extend to the affected methods as well. You can view in-depth descriptions of these vulnerabilities by either hovering over the warning, going directly to the linked page, or using the new dependency checker tool. You can view this tool by going to code, analyze code, show vulnerable dependencies. Next is gRPC navigation. Did you know our inbuilt HTTP client supports making gRPC requests? Well, now the editor allows you to go straight from proto file to method definition. Just click the little colorful icon and boom, you're already there. One of the more requested improvements was allowing packages outside of the standard library to be used inside of scratch files. Well, here it is. When you copy your code from a project file to a scratch file and press the run button, Goland can run the scratch file using the same packages as in the original project. Okay, this next feature is actually really cool and would have saved me a few headaches back when I used to laugh as a DevOps engineer. Let's say you've been editing a deployment, but you're not sure what's currently running in the cluster. Well, now you can just compare the two. Simply click on the compare with cluster button and you're off to the races or something equally British. Okay, let's pick up the pace. Time for a quick fire round. You now have the ability to implement unexported interfaces. On top of that, CodeVision now shows the number of implementations of an interface. We've added rename refactoring for generic receivers. A new call group has been added to the find usages window for function calls. You can now reformat markdown tables. You can use fill paragraph to break long text into several lines of even length. Full IDE zoom, perfect for presentations and definitely made filming this a lot easier. In Docker news, we've added completion for container names when you use the test containers dash go package. Switching back to Kubernetes, we now have file templates in the new Kubernetes resource pop-up and we've introduced a new action to create secrets. You may have noticed that throughout this video, I've been using the new UI. If you're curious about how to turn it on, go to Preferences, Appearance and Behavior, New UI. You'll also notice this new compact mode, which reduces a lot of the unused white space. It's something you could call pretty tight. We've also added the option to split the tool window into multiple areas. Have a play around and let us know what you think. Oh, that was a fair bit, wasn't it? But wait, there's even more I didn't mention. If you want to see the full breakdown of all features added in this release, please check out the full blog post. There will be a link in the description box below. So which feature are you most excited about? And which feature do you want to see in upcoming releases? Please let us know in the comments and thank you for watching this video and thank you for enjoying GoLand. If you're interested in learning more about future updates, do what you gotta do with the buttons below, and as always, have a cool day. I'm so glad I recorded this last, honestly.